reason I want to show you this is uh, the questions they ask. I think this is it here. So if that's what you're interested in, then stick around. If not, I understand. Let's get started. See if there is a study that's right for you. Are you 18 or older? Zip code. Oops. Next. Date of birth. No, let's do uh, let's do their pagan holiday. Are you worried about the spread of COVID-19 and want to do something about it? Right now, researchers are evaluating study vaccines that may have potential to protect against COVID-19. To help us match you with the best COVID-19 vaccine study for you, we need to ask you a few health questions. All information will be kept confidential. This questionnaire will take you less than 10 minutes. Are you ready to make a difference for COVID vaccine research? Yes. Which of the following describes your ethnic background? African-American or black? It's depending on, I guess, which, <laughs> never mind. Asian, Asian, Asian Indian, Chinese, Korean, Filipino, Japanese, Vietnamese, Caucasian or white, Hispanic or Latino, Native American, Alaskan, Native Aleutian, Pacific Islander, other prefer not to answer. Let's go with Hispanic. Have you ever received any SARS or COVID vaccines? No. Have you ever had a swab test for COVID-19? Now, why would they want to know that? Um, that would mean you're already infected, right? In my opinion, some of the, if not all of the uh, swab tests uh, at one point or another were contaminated with COVID-19. And that is not just an opinion. They actually reported that on the mainstream media. All right, so no. Have you received an investigational drug, investigational device requiring minor surgery in the past 10 days? No. No latex allergies, but no. I don't know why my voice is going up so high pitched, but <laughs> do you have a known allergy or had a severe allergic reaction or anaphylaxis to any vaccine? No. Do you have any bleeding disorders which would prevent you from receiving intramuscular injections or blood draws? No. Have you received any vaccines in the previous 28 days or, or are you planning to receive any vaccines? No. <clears throat> Do you currently live or work in one of the settings below putting you at a higher risk for contracting COVID-19? Armed services, retail, factory workers, driver, driving Let's see, drivers providing bus or taxi, um, user of public transportation, nursing home staff, retirement community, correctional facility, healthcare worker, 51 years or older living in a multi-generational house, at least three generations, first responder, student in a dormitory. I do not currently live or work in any of these settings. Have you ever smoked cigarettes? Let's put no, I never smoked even though I have. But I'm not filling this out as me. I'm filling this out as a person trying to... Uh, I'm filling it out in a way that hopefully they will accept me in the study. Um, this fictitious person here. What is your approximate height? Um, let's put six foot. And my weight, let's put 230. Oh, yeah, 260 is probably closer <laughs> to the truth. Um, do you have any of the following chronic medical conditions? Asthma, autoimmune deficiency, cerebrovascular disease, cerebrovascular disease, I'm probably saying it wrong, chronic liver, chronic lung, cystic fibrosis, diabetes 1 or 2, encephalopathy, chronic kidney disease, high blood pressure, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, 
a brain bleed, ischemic strokes, menin meningocephalitis, neurological conditions, Parkinson's disease, seizures, serious heart conditions, sickle cell, sleep apnea, thalassemia, and none of the above. Let's be healthy here. Yeah? Have you received an investigational vaccine within the past six months? Um, no, let's put no. And then it gives the definition of uh, that. In the past three months, have you had any change in your long-term medical conditions that require hospitalization, surgery, new treatments, or medications, major changes in your medical dosage, decrease in how your organs are functioning? Um, it has three different options or no, and I'll put no. Have you had surgery requiring hospitalization within the past three months, or are you expecting to have surgery requiring hospitalization in the next six months? No. Uh, do you have a history of malignancy or cancer? No. I'm not going to read the full questions if I can help it. Oh, let's see. Have you used oral or IV steroids? No. Have you received a treatment for immunoglobins? No. Do you have a history of Jillian Barr syndrome? No. Do you have a history of solid organ transplant? No. Have you been diagnosed with HIV? No. Do you live in or receive care from an assist, any assisted living facilities? Uh, and then it gives a list of nursing homes, etc. No. Have you ever been diagnosed with any of the following conditions? ADHD, arthritis, autism, um, osteoporosis, COPD or cancer, diabetes, headaches, heart circulation, high blood pressure, cholesterol, um, irritable bowel syndrome, stomach problems, kidney disease, Liver, lupus, mental or emotional health problems, neurological issues, skin problems, sleep problems, urinary bladder, men's health issues. Now, if you noticed, or you may or may not have noticed that they repeated several questions about health, um, about your health in here. Try and make sure you're being honest. Do you have any of the following additional diagnosis? Oh, do any of the following apply to you? Uh, bipolar, cancer, cirrhosis of the liver, drug or alcohol abuse, hep B or C, HIV, dialysis, MS, neuropathy, seizure, schizophrenia, tuberculosis. Again, a repeat of several questions that they've already asked, none of the above. Are you currently participating in a study? No. Many clinical trials require participants to take a drug test. Are you willing? Yes. Okay, and that's it. And then they, based on the answers, you're a good fit for one of their tests. Um, ask to fill out personal information, your name, email address, phone number, street address, zip code, city, etc., cetera, uh, state. And then they will link you up. So they're looking for healthy people to take this test for these vaccines, which are seemingly very hard on the body because... Um, mainstream media has reported as well as uh, independent news studies news reporters reporting um, on people who have gone to um, they've been taken out but not to lunch by this by these vaccines so that's the clinical trial study test application